All right, so we want to learn how to build niche edits or what some people often call link insertions. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways on how you can create a niche edit, one 100% for free and another one using a paid tool. But before I do that, let me just explain really quickly what is a niche edit. A niche edit or a link insertion is nothing more than simply a link on a site pointing to your site. Simple enough, right? They're similar to guest posts. A guest post is simply a new article posted on a website with a link back to your site. Now, where a niche edit differs is that a niche edit or a link insertion is the insertion of a link to your site on an old aged post. Oftentimes these posts already have traffic, hence why in most cases niche edits are a bit more expensive to acquire than just regular guest posts. But to sum it up, they're similar to guest posts in the sense that you'll have an article with a link back to your site. The main difference is that a guest post is a new article and a niche edit is an old age article. Now the last thing before we jump inside my computer so I can show you step by step how it's done is how do you actually build a niche edit? And simply put, you build or create a niche edit by doing organic outreach. This is of course a very time consuming process, but it's a great way to ensure that you're acquiring very high quality links in your link building strategy efforts. And it basically boils down to spending time on Google, searching and researching for quality sites where eventually you want to post your link on, getting in touch with all of them via email, discussing pricing, discussing their processes on how it works. So it is a very time consuming process. It takes time, but it does work. And I know all this might sound complicated, but trust me, it is easier than it sounds. And in just a second, I'll show you exactly how you can do it too. Which brings us to the question on how do you actually find these sites to post your link on? And this is of course where we need to hop in inside my computer so I can show you exactly step-by-step step how you can do it. Okay, so we're here. The first step you're gonna to wanna to do is write the following text. In your URL, write for us, and then your niche, right? I'll leave a list in the description for a bunch of these prompts you can uh, use, because you can use different ones, you can use guest posts, you can use a bunch of them. I'll, again, I'll leave a link in the description for different ones, because different prompts will find you different sites. But for this video's sake, let's just go with this one, which is quite simple. So let's say your niche is lawyers. Let's do niche lawyer, okay? And then hit search. Now I'll go over what these little boxes are right here. Uh, they're called the Moz bar, but I'll go over that in just a second. But when you write this, here are a couple of sites, of course, not all, that in theory will allow you to write for them as the prompt says, right? So let's just take a look. And this is exactly how we do it, right? Let's see here. Okay, so this site is a lawyersource.com.au and they seem pretty credible, but we'll go over it but we'll go over the site, the traffic and the metrics in just a second. But as you can see right here, we find a guest post submission guidelines. Every single one of these sites should have some guidelines, the amount of words, the image you need to include in the post, no promotional content, whatever. Again, you can read all this. And then of course they have instructions on how to submit it. Super straightforward, just email this email. Okay. Now let's see this one. This is another site. This one looks a bit more spammy. I see a bunch of ads. I see, yeah, this one looks a bit more, more spammy than the other one. It has a bunch of different categories, so this wouldn't be a site where you'd want to place a link on. Of course, you can look at the metrics right here, and this is where the most bar comes in. This is the freeway, because this is an, because this is a free extension. Anyone can download this uh, this Chrome extension. That's what you can see here. Just go to moz.com or write moz bar. I can even show you moz bar, and it's a free extension which you can download for free, right? And basically, this allows you, if you're doing this for free, if you're not using a paid tool, which again, I'll explain to you in a second how how we do this with the paid tool, I want you to see basically the metrics of these domains, right? But let's look for a couple of more ones. Let us see, uh, as you can see, PA39, DA59. This one looks like a good site, but again, yeah, as you can see, something to take note and you'll learn about this the more you do it is that these sites that have a bunch of different categories are not the sites you want to go for. Because these sites are basically farming uh, paid posts, right? Because they have all the categories, they accept all the niches, they just want to make money, right? So I wouldn't go for these super generic sites, I would go for niche sites. Because after all, you're building niche edits, right? The site needs to be niched down. So there's three things you need to worry about. The site niche, the metrics, and if it gets traffic. Because of course, if you're having all this work, you want to make sure that the link is placed on a niche site, one with high metrics, and that on the page that your link will be placed, it is a page with traffic. And this is something you cannot really check for free, right? Using the Moz bar or any other tools, you cannot really check the traffic of a certain page for free. Not that I know of, to be honest, but this free way allows you to go very far, right? Allows you to find sites that are actually accepting guest posts. For example, this one, if you're in the lawyer niche, 
This one accepts uh, guest posts and each edits, allows you to find the metrics, but not the traffic. Now, this one, as we saw before, allows for guest posts. Of course, that when you're emailing them, you can ask them if they're willing to let you submit for a niche edit. So, for example, you go on their site, you find here an article, for example, about uh, whatever it is. Let me see if I can find something here in the blog. You message them saying, hi, listen, I, I saw this article. Of course, you know yourself that this article is getting some traffic. Um, you, you tell them, oh, I saw this article, looks great. What would be your pricing to let me include a link with an anchor here to back to my site? And some of them will tell you that they don't do that. They only do guest posts, but some of them will. This is, of course, a numbers game, right? And as I said before, it takes time, of course, doing all this manually, reaching out to the people, emailing them. It takes time, of course, but in the end, it's totally worth it. So again, this is the free way that allows you to find sites using these prompts. Again, I'll leave a link in the description where you have a bunch of these different prompts. Uh, it allows you to find the sites that are actually accepting guest posts or niche edits. It allows you to find out the metrics of the sites, 100% for free. But now I want to show you the paid way, which will allow you to find actual pages with traffic where you can put your links on. And even better, I'll go over a broken link building strategy you can use to oftentimes get links for free. So the paid method involves using Ahrefs and Ahrefs is kind of a pricey tool. I think the lowest package is around $100 per month, but uh, it's a super, super valuable tool and you can do a lot with it. But let's just go over how to find proper niche edit opportunities. So let's paste in here the site we were looking at before and let's see what it shows us. Now, there's two ways we can do this. So there's two ways how we can find pages on this site where we want to put links on. The first types of pages are pages that have strong backlink profiles, and the second types of pages are pages that have a lot of traffic. Now, of course, you wanna have a mix of both traffic and link juice, but sometimes it can happen that either you cannot find a page with both traffic and link juice, or that the site owners are not offering a page posting on certain types of pages that either have high traffic or high link juice or both right, if that makes sense. Now, first one, how do we find the pages on the site that have the most link juice? Just go on here and click best by links. And that will give you all the pages that the site has and sorted by the amount of links and the power of those links. Ahrefs can be a confusing tool if you're just looking at this for the first time, so I'll be brief. Uh, so let's say here, for example, this page right here has around a 183 uh, do follow links, has a UR of nine, and overall, it's one of the top pages in this site for um, in regards to link juice, right? So what you do, you go here, look at the page, try to find and try to understand if this page is something or is a place where you'd want to insert a link to your site from. And uh, if your niche is a lawyer's, I would assume that this page would be great for you. But of course, this is yet another part of this manual outreach and manual link building is that you need to look at the pages and find out which ones best suit your site. If this one does, then you just simply do what we talked about before, is right, just get in touch with them. In this case, they even have a right for us page right here. Just get in touch with them, send them an email asking for their pricing, for their processes, describe what you want. Make sure that the email is short and straight to the point, right? This is very important because you don't wanna have a bunch of fluff in the email that you're sending out, right? So that's a way you can find the best pages that have the best and strongest links on uh, a certain site, right? Because, of course, again, you want to place your link on the strongest pages. That makes, of course, sense, right? Because, of course, you want to place your link on the strongest pages. Now, what if you wanted to find the pages that have the most traffic? Super simple. You go to top pages, scroll down, and there you go. Here, you have the top pages by traffic. For example, we can click on this one right here, best immigration lawyer in Brisbane. And this would not be a page where you could insert a link. Maybe you could insert here a face of your uh, lawyer's CEO on the of, of the company. Maybe if it is from Brisbane, I don't know. But I guess you can be creative and try and insert here uh, your link. I mean, all these links link out to this uh, lawyer firm. So let me see if they are actually do follow or no follow. Let's see, they are do follow. So I would assume these lawyers most likely will be paying to be here. I'm not too sure. I don't want to insinuate anything, but I think you can see the opportunity here, right? You can see that this page is getting traffic. And if you're a lawyer firm in Brisbane, you could ask them again. You, well, again, you have to get in touch with them, with the site owner to ask them. 
the pricing for a feature over here. And in this case, because this is one of the top traffic pages, you're not only getting link juice, because this is a default link from the powerful site and this page is also powerful. If you're not mistaken, the page has, let me see if I can find the, I can't really find the metrics right now, but, but the thing here is that you're getting a link from a page that has great metrics, from a site that has great metrics, but a page that has a bunch of traffic. So you could get people going through your website through this page. So you have to play around and try to find a good balance between pages with traffic and pages with great metrics. Hopefully this video helped. Hopefully now you know exactly how to find proper link building opportunities through manual outreach, whether there is niche edits or guest posts. This video showed you exactly how you could do it. And finally, to finish off, and I almost forgot to mention this, is a way that you can leverage their broken backlinks to try and get a free link from them. So what does this mean? If you go on Ahrefs, you go here to broken links, and I do not have access to this because I'm not paying for the full high-end package. It is $200 per month, and for me, it's not really necessary for what I use Ahrefs for, but if you are willing to pay this much, or if you maybe use another different tool that gives you access to a site's broken links, what this basically does is it goes out, looks for all the pages on this site, say, say for example, the blog page, looks for all the blog posts right here and tells you if there's any blog post that has a broken link, right? So for example, this linked to a 404 page or a broken link. What you then do is you get in touch with the website owner and tell them, hey, listen, I found that your, I read this article, looks great. However, I found that there is a broken link on it. If you want to have here a great source where you can link out to in replacement to the source that's no longer working, and oftentimes they'll say, yes, sure. I mean, you're helping me out. You're giving me a new source. The other one is no longer valid. So it makes sense that I improve my site and make the links work. Some of them will ask you for money, but either way, it's a numbers game, like I said before. So it's always good uh, and worth a try, right? And that's basically it in regards to this secret uh, quote unquote tactic uh, for uh, link building. Again, just find the broken links get in touch with them, tell them that you found the broken link, tell them that you have a new source, maybe more valuable source to replace the old one that's no longer working and see if they can do it for free. If not, see how much they ask for. And there you have it. So that's yet another way to leverage uh, a tool and leverage broken link building to build links to your site. Now, if you don't want to have all of this work, you can simply go to Veta.com and full transparency, Veta is a platform that I own. It is a place where you can outsource all of your SEO efforts. And there are some people here selling uh, this kind of service. For example, Liam, he's an amazing guy. He's a super, super professional. He does exactly this. He does guest postings via real outreach. So everything I talked about in this video, Liam goes out and does it for you, right? You can even read the description. He has a bunch of samples down here. He also has a service for uh, niche edits. If you go here to his profile, he basically does exactly the same thing that I showed you here. Of course, he has his nuances, he has his processes, he has his speciality, he has his way of doing things, but he basically takes in your website, takes in your niche, looks for the best opportunities in your niche, and then gets you a link on one of these very powerful sites with real traffic and amazing metrics. Even as here a couple of rank improvements from previous clients, as you can see here, rankings going up, a couple of case studies. But yeah, my goal is not to try and sell you on this. I mean, my goal is to get you to do it for yourself, but if you don't want to waste time or if you just want to hire a professional to do it for you, you can do it with confidence on Vetted. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.